Our journey begins in a Russian trench in temporarily occupied Ukraine, where dead Russian soldiers are available in abundance. Workers collect the Russian corpses and break them into equal-sized chunks. The body parts are then stacked on pallets, ensuring no individuality or dignity remains. During transportation, the driver wears a face mask at all times. He would otherwise faint from the unimaginable stench. Back at the factory, they load the pallets onto a conveyor belt for further processing. A typical day can yield up to 200 Mobic cubes. The next step is to clean and inspect the cubes. They remove any Nazi patches and swastika tattoos the Russian soldiers possessed. This process can take up to three hours due to high volume. The remaining flesh is ground the same way butchers chop up hamburger meat by pushing the cuts through grated metal plates. Dried up that make tears are added to the meat, followed by food starch, salt, and other flavorings. Vodka is sprayed into the mix, and everything is blended together in a big vat. The addition of even more vodka helps consumers get the rancid chum down, and makes them forget for a while that they have to live in Russia. Another machine then purees the meat batter into a fine emulsion and vacuums out any hope. This factory alone can feed up to 30,000 miserable Russians a day before they too are shipped into the next conflict that Russia initiates ready to repeat the cycle.